Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel with the reviews on this and that. So today I'm gonna, I'll am i be making a quick video how I personally charge my GoPower Plus portable power station. If you have seen my <clears throat> most recent video, you've seen that I had purchased one of these then I went back to the store. I, went, I found these at, at my local store and I got them very cheap, honestly. I actually purchased four of them. I have the fourth unit charging at my house and I have, I have two right here. As you can see, there's one in the box. There's the other one in the second box, and then this one right here. And I'm also charging, uh, I'm, I'm actually charging my GoPower Plus, which is, but what's really funny is that I have, as you can see here, I have my Coleman 10 watt trickle charger solar, solar panel. I know it's not much juice, but hey, this will get the job done for these small units. And as you can see, this is a sturdy solar panel uh, that I just recently reviewed on my YouTube channel. And you can see that right now, I have it plugged in I actually have it plugged in directly to the solar panel. I have the GoPower Plus direct, directly plugged in. And this is what they call the SAE adapter. I'll, I'll show you guys in a minute what brand of adapter you need to actually charge the GoPower Plus here. And as you can see here, let me see if I can show you this. On the bottom right there, it says 15 volt input, solar input. So this port right here on the bottom left, this is input and that's output. This port right here, that's where you charge this, this is where you charge it from the wall or from solar. And as you can see, my solar panel, this is only a 10 watt solar panel. I know, again, I know it's not much juice, but you know what? You can see this on the screen, you can see the battery temperature on the left, which is 85 degrees, and that's normal. But you can see on the, on the right hand side, the battery status, it keeps going up and down, up and down. That means this unit is getting charged. Okay, so, and if, you, if you're probably wondering, okay, how do I, how, how did I connect this this solar panel to to the GoPower Plus. I'm gonna go ahead and try to unplug this. So this is what they call the SAE connection uh, connectors. There's one coming out from the solar panel directly. So you connect these two. They just slide into each other. It's kind of hard to do while holding the phone. And, and then you just plug it into the solar input and there it is charging, okay? And then <clears throat> this cable right here, this does not come with the solar panel or the GoPower Plus. What you will need is, you will need to buy one of these right here. And I just got, re I just picked up, re I just recently picked this up from Amazon. This is called the Thunderbolt Magnum Solar Power Kit. It's a six piece connection a cable kit. And it comes with this cable, this, this conversion cable if you would. This is the SAE connector to the port, I think they call that the port 5521, if I'm not mistaken, don't hold me to it. But I believe that's what that's what someone commented on my YouTube, on my last YouTube video. And this uh, this Thunderbolt Magnum Solar uh, connection cable comes very handy. I mean, it's got multiple cables. It's got this, it's got the DC in, DC out. It's got the uh, conversion cable from the SAE, SAE to uh, port 5521. Then it has this cable right here. I'm not sure what this is for. Then it has the, you can plug this uh, solar panel directly into an, any 12 volt battery, which comes very handy. Or, and it also comes with like a like a six or eight foot um, connection cable, like an extension cable, excuse me. And if you look in the back, I'm actually gonna have to fully review this, uh, this uh, connection cable kit. This comes very handy. And I think I paid like $22 for this or $25, something like that but I will leave the link in the description. So either way, this is a, a nice lithium uh, lithium battery, rechargeable battery, where you, can well, where you can charge it anywhere from the wall or from solar. So that way you can plug in your uh, small electronics like your tablet, your cell phone, your camera, your GPS, you know, something small, nothing serious. So uh, this is a great way to keep some emergency power backup no matter what's going on in the world and, and no and it doesn't matter where you live whether you live in the united states or whether you live in another country people should always have a backup power no matter what happens so if you guys are interested i will leave all the links in the description below i will leave the i will leave the links for the thunderbolt magnum 6p solar kit i'll also leave the in the link uh, I'll, i would also leave the in the description the link for the go power plus portal power station which, which i think is awesome and i'll also leave the link for the uh, coleman 10 watts solar panel the trickle charger all right so i hope you guys enjoyed my video uh, please check out my other videos and if you guys enjoyed this video if you have learned anything or if you if you benefited if you if you found any benefits in this in this video 
please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And if you are new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe right now. I would really appreciate that. It doesn't cost you anything, but it means, uh, means a whole lot to me. It really does. So that way I can, I can bring you guys some more great content like this. And if you guys have a solar panel or, or if you charge your power banks or portable power stations in a different way, whether it's through solar or whether it's from the wall, uh, then let me know. Drop me, a, uh, drop me a line in the comment section. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Take care.